This is Storm Pegasus. You might have had this Beyblade as a kid and may have been slightly disappointed at its performance as an attack type Beyblade. Well, in this video, let's see if we can keep Storm Pegasus the same and overall improve the Beyblade. But first, let's get to know this Beyblade's stats and parts. Storm Pegasus is a right spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Jinka in the anime. I would say its main feature is on the tip, Rubber Flat, being probably one of the best attack tips you can use in the Beyblade series. So with that in mind, what is the main problem on Storm Pegasus and what would we have to change? I feel like the main problem on Storm Pegasus that people complain about is that it has no stamina because of the Rubber Flat tip. Well, here's how I see it. Rubber Flat is the best tip because it has the best speed and the best grip on the stadium to get knockouts. As an attack type Beyblade, your main goal is to knock the enemy Beyblade out, not outlast them or have better stamina. And that's why Rubber Flat is top tier for attack types. And the spin track on Storm Pegasus really isn't a problem too. It's a low height spin track that can get some good hits and complements the attack power on Storm Pegasus. Now that we've ruled out the spin track and tip, the only part left we have is the fusion wheel. The Storm fusion wheel really isn't good for much. It doesn't have much attack power or just any recoil to actually knock out any other Beyblades. So the best option to really replace the Storm Fusion Wheel is for the Spiral Fusion Wheel. The Spiral Fusion Wheel is significantly heavier than the Storm Fusion Wheel and it has a lot more recoil to it as well. And because of the added weight and recoil, it can actually use the rubber flat tip to get some really good hits and knockouts to the opposing Beyblade. I also mainly chose Spiral because they look quite similar in design. As you can see, both fusion wheels have the main three blades on their fusion wheel. But Spiral just hits harder and it is actually top tier for attack and competitively viable for tournaments. So now that we know what to change, let's reassemble the Beyblade to see our final product. And now introducing Spiral Pegasus 105 Rubber Flat. A huge increase in attack power just because of the fusion wheel alone. And yeah, because we have a new fusion wheel, it is not called Storm Pegasus anymore. But honestly, it still kind of looks quite similar to what Storm Pegasus would look like. But there's actually one last thing I need to change on Spiral Pegasus to make this viable. And no, we're not really changing a different part, I'm just going to be replacing this rubber flat tip just for a more refreshed and new rubber flat tip. We're still using the same part, it's just that the rubber flat tip we had earlier was just a little bit worn down and this one is a bit more fresh and new. And now that we have the full complete Beyblade finish, we're going to have to do some battles against 4 stages of Beyblades. The first stage will be against Ray Striker, a right spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Masamune in the anime. I personally never really thought of Ray Striker as an attack type Beyblade but more of a balance type Beyblade. Both Masamune and Jinka were rivals in the anime, so it'll be pretty interesting to see how Ray Striker would put up against the new Spiral Pegasus. And the second stage will be against Thermal Pisces, a right spinning stamina type Beyblade owned by Ryutaro in the anime. Even with this Beyblade being classified as a stamina type, it has pretty good defense to it because of the Thermal Wheel. So it's pretty much guaranteed that if Pegasus doesn't knock out Pisces, Pisces will always win in a stamina battle. And the third stage will be against Grand Cetus White. Grand Cetus White is a right spinning defense type Beyblade owned by Sophie in the anime. I personally think that Grand Cetus has one of the best defense stock combos in the Beyblade series. Especially since its tip, Rubber Sharp, is made out of rubber, just like Pegasus' tip. This should be a pretty hard challenge as naturally defense types counter attack types. And our last stage will be against Lightning El Drago, a love spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Ryuga in the anime. Now this is a all out attack type battles and with both Beyblades spinning in different directions, I expect some pretty interesting hits and interactions. Definitely really looking forward to this battle. Alright, let's start the battles. Here we have Spiral Pegasus versus Ray Striker. Each Beyblade will have 3 hearts. Each round lost is 1 heart gone. First Beyblade to drop to 0 hearts loses. <laughs> And we're already starting off with a huge collision, but Ray Striker manages to stay in. Pegasus with only two lives left. A great hit from Pegasus there, now both Beyblades are tied at two hearts. Striker will win the stamina battle and Pegasus is down to one heart. And immediately it looks like Pegasus gets a knockout and now both Beyblades are tied to one heart. A 
And such a brutal ending there for Ray Striker just getting blown around the stadium by Pegasus. Since Ray Striker lost all of its hearts, Pegasus takes the win. This battle was a lot more action packed than I thought. And now let's move on to the next battle against Thermal Pisces. This time Pegasus will be going against a stamina type Beyblade and now we're using the same format so first Beyblade to lose the 3 hearts first loses. <laughs> Pegasus gets a clean 2 hit knockout onto Pisces and now Pisces is on 2 hearts. And Pisces will take the second round with a sleep out. Pegasus gets a 1 hit KO and now Pisces is left with 1 life left. Pisces will take this round once again with a sleep out and now both Beyblades are at one life left. Pegasus just fails to get any good hit and Pisces will win with a sleep out. Definitely unlucky a bit for Pegasus as in the last battle it did get some hits but it just felt like it was all in the wrong angle. But huge credit to Pisces as it tanked a lot of hits and actually survived a lot of these battles. And now onto our third stage we have Spiral Pegasus versus Grand Cetus. Now I feel like Pegasus will have a lot more trouble actually going against Cetus but at the chance where it can actually knock it towards the walls it might actually be able to win with the stamina battle. But just like always the first Beyblade to knock out 3 hearts from the other Beyblades will win. Grand Cetus manages to tank all the hits and now takes the first round, Pegasus is now at 2 lives. Pegasus is just completely struggling trying to get these knockouts and now Pegasus is left at one life left. Ooh, good comeback here by Pegasus gets the knockout and now Cetus is at two hearts while Pegasus is at one. And with that, Grand Cetus takes the win. Grand Cetus is just an absolute tank just taking all these hits from Pegasus. I feel like I kind of expected this result as a defense type usually beats attack types anyways. And now for the final battle against Lightning El Drago. I'm hoping these battles will be extremely explosive. But just like always, first Beyblade to drop to zero hearts will lose. <laughs> Pegasus gets their perfect angle and knocks out El Drago and now El Drago is left at 2 hearts.
Pegasus drops first, and now both Beyblades are tied at two hearts. A huge collision from both Beyblades, but we're just going to be calling that a tie. Pegasus throws El Drago into the wall and it loses complete control and now El Drago is down to one heart. El Drago would take this round with a sleep out and now both Beyblades are at one heart each. An explosive collision, but El Drago is the one that gets sent flying, which means El Drago loses. Now, before we do anything, I really want to check out that last clip because there were actually two little hits that happened in that huge collision. You can't really see it, but you can hear it. Just look closely and you can see the power of this spiral Pegasus. Now, try to listen closely to this clip just so you can hear the hits. Oh. <laughs> alright, alright, let's, let's, let's see the real clip. Just a small detail I wanted to point out, I thought it was pretty cool personally. I think the sheer weight on Pegasus just made a huge difference on this battle. Just a quick summary, Pegasus only managed to win 2 out of the 4 battles, which is not too bad I would say, just because they were pretty hard matchups and they were on a giant stadium. What did you guys think and would you guys have changed anything else? But yeah, other than that, thank you guys all for watching.